Okay, we're dropping off the high road, coming back into uh, the environs, the general environs of uh, Wistful Vistas. Love looking at the fuel gauge, just gloating that this machine has one. <laughs> uh, viva Italia, welcome to the 21st century, guys. Uh, what a machine, what a lovely machine. I loved my past machine, even though it didn't have a gas gauge. I love that too, don't get me wrong. But uh, dropping back down into uh, the environs of Wistful Vistas, out of the lost, lofty village of the very, very Tony Enclave of Rancho Santa Fe, don't you know? Some pretty well-heeled people live in there. Uh, almost none of them ride motorcycles. I don't know, I guess there's a thing with wealth and motorcycle, although that's not uh, completely true because uh, I know of a couple of guys that live in there and actually have a little bit of a collection of them, uh, but uh, not many do. So you can tootle through the village, although it's been a good day for motorcycle uh, uh, viewing because I've seen, uh, oh, God, get some air. It's a warm day, kids. Uh, I've seen a few riding around today, including a KTM, which I am so curious about. I'd, I'd love to one day, when do we go in this great uh, questionable thing here? This gentleman's crossing the road. I guess I go after he's crossed. So let's take a chance to put it in gear and wait for him to have crossed. He seems to be safe get out of that little pothole I'm waiting in and um, so it's great to ride through the village and it's been good spotting the uh, motorcycles we do get to go huzzah and uh, snap um, I started off this particular ride I'll break up the videotape otherwise it'd be a hundred and 80 minutes long, and even though I love talking to myself all the time, I've got a feeling there's a uh, limit for all the others out there. So what are the channel plans as I'm going through this health challenge and, um, what, oh my gosh, I forgot about these steel plates. Oh, you go, Um, my plans are to vlog as much as I can. I, I do also plan to carry on writing. I'd like to write as long as I possibly can. I'm already a senior citizen. Uh, what's writing with a few infirmities gonna do to that? But it will, my schedule and my ability to do so will obviously be, be a little bit uh, affected. So there may be a few more garage type uh, vlogs coming up, a few more garage type videos to um, look at that sort of thing and I hope you don't mind uh, it's going to be dependent upon my energy, the, bi the big unknown thing is the uh, I have to undergo a series of hormone therapy injections to suppress my testosterone and PSA levels and those do affect your energy level so uh, I will have to see how that works out. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know yet. Uh, the full force and effect hasn't hit me yet. I had my first one on Monday. Today is Friday. Uh, sorry, Thursday. July 14, 2022. Your faithful companion, Gary L. Cooper, is here on the 2021 Aprilia Tuono factory and uh, I will do as many vlogs as I feel uh, physically capable of and I plan to try and stay as physically fit through all this as I can and I made the decision a while ago uh, I, I had that internal dialogue that we all do when we get ill you know do I share this or whatever and I made the decision a long time time ago actually as you all know because you've heard about it you heard about me chatting on about this to share what I'm going through and uh, hopefully that will uh, be educational at the very least for some of all uh, my guys and gals out there gals for your partners and guys for your own uh, bodies and uh, yeah maybe 
maybe it can help someone as uh, significant things happen. I, I won't be vlogging, I don't believe, my various trips to get the um, uh, radiation therapy done. I don't think. I might, I might vlog one or two in there. Uh, let me know if you have any interest in that at all. Let me know. Are you, do you care about that? Are you any interested? Um, I will certainly share the information on what the experience is like. Uh, I cannot vlog in the radiation treatment center itself. But I can certainly vlog on the way there and in the waiting room and on the way out. Let me know if you have any interest in that. It just struck me. Um, but wouldn't do a lot of them. But just a few. Just so you get the idea about it. So those are the plans going forward. Uh, I would like to, before the year is out, install the Akropovich exhaust on this machine. I've seen a few of them installed on the later model uh, Tuonos and I am absolutely jealous. <laughs> I, want, I want it. Because uh, I'm such a kid. I love noise. I like the, uh, I'm a gearhead. I like the noise. That, uh, especially the V4, uh, which by all accounts, most people will agree, probably, let me know about your theory of, of which machines you like the sound of. But I'm going to say, for me, personally, the, the two street machines that I really, really like the sound of are the Tuono a V4 in any form, uh, particularly with an uncorked exhaust like an Akrapovich or some of the other brands. And uh, secondarily, the cross-plane Yamaha. I love the way that sounds. That thing sounds so bad. Uh, <coughs> really, really like that. So those are my my own two faves. Um, one of the things about the KTM is it's a big twin thumper and while that sounds cool and everything like that, you just don't get that European rev flavor that you do out of the multi-cylinder alternatives. Uh, a distant third, okay, uh, uh, give me flack. If you don't believe this, give me flack. A distant third would be the uh, BMW inline fours. I had a 2014 S1000 single R and I loved even the stock exhaust on that thing. I love the thing that the way that that thing went snap, crackle, and pop. I really did. <laughs> that thing was so cool. Uh, sounded really raspy. I, I never did put an exhaust on that bike, but that would have only been cooler. <laughs> but those are my uh, two top and a distant third on uh, standard or modified exhaust notes. Can we sneak up here and do a... Uh, maybe we can. Yeah, we can. Gotta watch out. Uh, this guy saw me. Okay, so we can go. Never know, that's a little bit of a blind corner there. So, um, that uh, would be something I really want to get to uh, get done on uh, Larry Lightning here. I want to put that up crop bitch on there. So bad, you don't know it. You don't know it. <laughs> or uh, maybe not the Akrapovich. Uh, another thing, give me your favorite uh, exhaust system. Tell me which one you like and why. And if you have actual experience with the exhaust, that's even better. Got to watch out through here because this road uh, sucks in terms of the uh, quality of the pavement. It absolutely sucks. And there's a big bump up here someplace. I forgot where it is now. Oops. Love that downshifter. And uh, let me know. Yeah, especially if you have direct experience installing an aftermarket exhaust on a Tuono. Uh, and I would love to hear of your experience and your recommendations. The the last Tuono I had, which was the 2017 model, I had the Akrapovich. And I, and I can only relate uh, positive uh, reviews on that. Really liked it. Liked the sound. It also made the bike run a little bit cooler, by the way, uh, in my experience, uh, which is something of a thing on these bikes. Uh, something of a thing. They do love to overheat. But this one has, in contrast, when I first got the 2017, it did overheat and shut down once in traffic. And I had to wait for it to cool off, which was really, really uh, not cool. And. Uh, 
then uh, uh, this one has never even given a hint that it might do that. But I do recall, where is that bump? I'm just waiting for it to kick me in the rear end here. Uh, but I do recall uh, that that was an issue. And this does run a little hot. If you come to a stop on a, on a hot day here in San Diego, it'll, it'll poke right up there in the temperature into things. So, got to be aware of that. But uh, at, when I installed the Akrapovich in the factory update on the 2017, I never had another overheat issue and uh, the bike itself did run cooler. Okay. That is the update side of uh, what I'm going to try and do with the channel for the rest of 2022. I will not be traveling too much. There is the bump. No wonder it's under new pavement. You can't see it. <laughs> clever these city paving people are. Very clever. So uh, there it is as uh, we go on. And uh, lastly, I want to insert... Excuse me, there's that code. I want to insert a dedication to this uh, vlog right here. Dedication to my friend Ken Westbrook, who uh, I've known for many years. He and I have had so such fun together, various locations. And uh, Ken just had back surgery where they go in and poke around your spine and try and straighten you up a little bit. And Ken, it'll mean more than spine, stranger, uh, spine surgery to straighten you out, of course, we know that. But uh, Ken, wish you well, buddy, wish you well. And uh, that is all for now from yours truly, Gary L. Cooper. Ride safe out there, folks.